Who really want war? Who really want to spar with a beast? Raise hell, so I better call in a priest. Pardon my speech, but I'm hotter than the devil when I'm high up on the level that a god couldn't reach. Damn. Damn. Stafford. Okay, this is a dub pack. That's a that's a dub second round. Okay, okay. Ah, let's go. Let's fucking go. I'm the best in the world. I'm the best in the world. What's good with y'all? Welcome to another YouTube video. In this video, you guys are going to see game number 22 from Weekend League Week 2. Currently 21 and 0 going into this game. But before we kick off, if you guys haven't subscribed already, hit the sub button. Turn your notifications on, and at the very end of the video, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like. We're, we're shooting for 1,000 likes on this video. Let's get it, man. I appreciate the love that you guys are showing. All right, so as you've seen in that first clip, I pulled the limited LT, so you'll see him out here. I've got the limited Reggie Wayne as well. You'll see him in action in, in, in this game as well. So both new cards, two legends that came out on Saturday. If you guys want to check out the newest cards, you want to see them in action live when I get them, Check out my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash problem, right? Make sure you guys head over and, uh, yeah, follow the channel. Turn your notifications on over there. All right, so first drive of the game. You see me throw the ball away. Third and six, we're going to hand it off. Barry Sanders right up the middle, picking up the first down. We got a first and ten early on. So we're playing M. Tweeds. Don't know a ton about him, but I heard he's a pretty good player. Right there is an unfortunate break for us as we don't get our feet in bounds. It was going to be a dot. Instead, it's an incomplete pass. We run on second down, and now we're in the third and 12. So big down coming up here. I'm sitting, sitting, rolling now, and I'm going to throw the ball away and bring up a fourth and 12. Early on in games, I don't mind getting aggressive here. We go for the fourth and 12. I come out and bunch a look that he's not used to. We hit the little crossing route, pick up the first. Later this drive, second and 10. Lamar Jackson, little hitch route, incomplete, broken up. So another bad break for me, a drop. Brings up a third and 10. We throw another curl on the very next player. That's Reggie Wayne, the limited version. So all the way powered up. Nice catch from him. We hit a flat pass over to the right. Barry Sanders on the very next play. And he sets up a second and short. So second and two here. Bo Jackson, the big bruiser, picks up the first down. And we're headed to the second quarter. So second and 11, first drive of the game. Nice little dig route here from Bo Jackson all the way inside the five to the four yard line. Second and goal later in the drive, we pitch right, and it's gonna be Barry Sanders getting to the edge, scoring the first touchdown of the game, up 6-0, extra point was good, seven to zero. Tweed's first drive coming out, he's gonna throw a baby hitch. A little bit of bad timing there between the quarterback and the runner and the, and the receiver, I'm assuming. Maybe throw it a little too early. Very next play gets hit, throw out a sack, third and 10 now. So we put him in a tough spot early on. Third and 10 is sitting there, our head contains. Didn't get any pass rush and my user was just completely lost on that play. Easy pass for him, first and 10. He goes back to that baby hitch on the right. Gonna pick up 11, first and 10 in I form now. So we've seen him in shotgun early, trips. And then now I'm seeing him audible down and come out in this I form formation and run the ball. So he's telling us a little bit about his offense, willing to run. You don't see a lot of people doing this um, in, in weekend league where they're in trips and then they're in eye close. But um, the guys that do do it, they're usually really tough to stop because they got the same personnel. They are able to audible back and forth and all that. So uh, tweets, nice little drive here, putting together with a minute and three left. First half, only had one possession each so far. He runs it on first, sets up a second and nine. He's gonna pass out of the under center now. Hits a slant, nice dot from him to the 12, third and inches. And you're gonna see his quarterback has his X factor ability, he gets screamed at, but able to get it off. And he's gonna pick up the first down there, first and goal. And this was a bad break defensively here. Like this just has to be my ball. I'm playing ball in the air, holding wide, just incomplete pass, throws it right at me. And then the very next play, not the best animation in the world, and I miss another chance at an interception. So a couple bad breaks, starting goal, and just wide open right side. So gave him a couple extra chances, and he's able to dot there, make it a 7-7 ball game, just 12 seconds left in the half. But 
I, I like taking chances late in the half sometimes, trying to get a, a three-point play, um, a field goal. So you're going to take see me take a shot on first down. And then on the very next play, seven seconds left in the half, there's no risk here. I, unless I throw a pick six, but I'm, I'm rolling out. I'm throwing this up to Reggie Wayne, the brand new limited version. And he comes down with the ball with one second left out of bounds. And we're able to get three before half. So take your chances as long as they're calculated and they're not too risky. I don't mind that. And right there, there was nothing for me to lose and only to gain. We're able to get three extra points because we got aggressive end of the half. So. Uh, we're up in the second half now. You see him roll out, throw it away. Second and ten, you're going to see him low ball here. Sets up a third and five. So immediately another third down attempt. And you're going to see wide open left side. Byron Jones actually baited pretty well there. He gave up the deep pass. Tried to peel off. And uh, if he would have just waited a little bit longer, he would have seen a touchdown down the middle of the field. But fortunately for us, he didn't. He only ended up getting the first down. We just have a meltdown in coverage. That's my side of the field. I'm supposed to be using that, and I wasn't. So he takes full advantage of it. Sets up a first and goal for my six. And now we need to get greedy on defense here. Nice run D on first down for a loss of three. Second and goal from the nine. He's in that I form formation. And we get a little bit of a shed and sack him at the 18 yard line. So third and goal from here. This just has to be a spot where I hold him to three and get off the field. He forces this. And it goes right through my hands. So a couple breaks here and there sets up a 10-10 ball game after this kick is up and good. But we're still in control of the game. And you guys are going to see a couple of plays here where things just take a turn for the worse. You see a bad play there on first down, second and 11 now. And this is the biggest play of the game. Some people say this is where we choke the, the potential 25-0 as we throw an interception and it's going to be Asante Samuel. I tried to playmaker Barry Sanders up the field. Unfortunately, it didn't go to the right spot of the field. And Asante was still able to get there. Very next play, he rolls out. I send the zone and he throws a dot. 17-10, fourth quarter action. I'm going to Barry Sanders. I'm trying to make this the last drive of the game now. So I'm trying to make this to where I can score, go to OT, and then, you know, try to walk off in overtime. There's Bo Jackson on a big first down. Second and four, we go back to Barry Sanders and he just misses the tackle. We have to score, we can't take points off the board. So we're gonna score the touchdown to tie the ball game up now. It's 17 all, inside stuff. Justin Smith hits him in the backfield and it's second and 13 at the two minute warning. Fourth quarter action, throws the baby hitch. I needed Rod, he was manned up. I needed him to make a play there. He did not. So he has a third and seven here with just 134 left in the game nice little post round i cross manned it safety just didn't have any type of man defense there and he's gonna pick up the first down bo jackson on the carry to the right 105 left in the game second and nine throws the post and just couldn't get an animation on my side first and 10 now under a minute left he's gonna hand the ball off to bo jackson again we have to hold now we called our first time out second and seven we have to get off the field I go to guard the corner around the right and I leave the slant and that's just going to set up a spot where he's in field goal range to win it. Ice the kicker. Can he avoid the ice and win the game? 17 all. 21 and 0 is now going to be down 20 to 17. The perfect weekend league in jeopardy with just three seconds left in the game. But you just know there's there's always hope. And he's been kicking to my fullback spot. So I put Bo Jackson at fullback um, on my depth chart to receive this. Can we return this for potentially the 22-0 and, and eventually go 25-0? Bo Jackson on the return. I'm not going to fair catch it. I feel like we just got to try to return it. I jurtle, jurtle, and then I'm brought down. Unfortunately for me, we are going to lose this weekend league game. And we're 21-1. But I ended up winning the last three to make it 24 and one. We're in the top 10 currently. You guys are going to see those highlights on the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments. Did I choke this game away? Was I was I unlucky this game or was it just a plain out choke job? See you guys on the next video. Peace.